Well guys, I thought you might enjoy seeing my first setup of my button retract. I've just rigged it up in the UM Mustang that I have, an old Park Zone model. She's uh, seen better days, so what better model to hack than that? Now I've just set it up, the glue's just dried, so now here it is in action. Now this is the smoothest and freest moving retract I have. Um, the other two that I had kind of got sacrificed to uh, stress testing to see what would break and what wouldn't. So I found a couple of weak spots which I've adjusted the 3D model to make stronger. So I'll just use a little 2 gram servo here just to drive it. Uh, eventually that will be just a 1 0.7 gram servo because you need next to nothing to push these out and once they're out they lock in a position because of the knuckle off the um, the retract arms they actually lock out um, hopefully they'll be able to take the punishment of a hard landing that's the next test I've got the Mustang wheel mounted on a leg strut which I will then insert into here and test, but right now I'm just testing the unit. I've set up the throws. This has only got uh, a throw of 40%, so that's very important. Start with zero and up your throw of your gear in the, um, the down position slowly until you can see that the Retract leg is sitting down, which is what I've done. It's not quite 90 degrees, um, but that wing's on a dihedral, so my guess is that will work out really well. All right, so there it is, working really smoothly. Yeah, woo hoo hoo! Yeah, baby, and all that sort of stuff. All right, mm, no freezing, no locking. Woo hoo! Go, baby! Come on, come on, come on! All right. So, definitely works, repeatedly. That's a lot of landing and taking off, man. Okay, so as you see, very free, very reliable. Um, now, the next thing, I've stripped off the Mustang wheel, stuck on a little landing gear strut here. Now to mount that in there, and see how she goes. I think we'll just put the gear up for that. Yeah, you may as well hang around while I do it. Alright, everything I do needs a magnifying glass because this is a 0.75mm hole and there we go. So I have a lot of depth that I can play with to mount that so I can go up and down a bit to find the correct height because right now I'm just working with one I've exploded all my other uh, button retracts. Here's another one, I broke it, you know, I'm doing, um, oh, here's another one, just flopping around. Um, I kept testing them until, you know, until it failed to find where the weak spots were. By doing these tests, I did reveal a couple of more weak spots that I've taken care of in the 3D model now, um, to strengthen um, a couple of endpoints. So, it was worthwhile. Alrighty then, up and down in the reverse mode. So, it hasn't got gravity to um, help it retract in the down position, so it's actually pushing that up into the air, which is a good test of its strength and um, whether it functions properly or not. <laughs> okay, bit of a cartoon boing there. Gee, a survey slow would be good for that, wouldn't it? That's a shocker. Um, yeah, it's a bit cartoony the way it goes up and down.